Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading and it is for all signs. So as you always say, it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you and this will be for Friday the 9th of April 2021. And remember my readings can last a few days after these daily reads are released, okay? So what do we have please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message people need to hear the most for Friday, 9th of April 2021, please? <clears throat> What is the message people need to hear, please, for the day? Thank you. Message people need to hear for the day. Thank you. Okay, I know we do hear this, but we've got be patient and respect your boundaries. Now that's number two and that's number 33, which is, I mean, three is a master number here. Uh, it's also a card of manifestation. But it feels in this situation that, uh, I mean, this can be about boundaries that you feel within. You might be trying to manifest something new here. You might be trying to make something happen. But it definitely feels in this energy, things happen when they're meant to happen. And just be patient. Work within the situation that you find yourself in right now. It's meant for a reason. Okay, what do we have please, angels? What is the message people need to hear for the day? Thank you. Message people need to hear for the day. I've got new love. <laughs> Cupid's arrow striking, new love. Um, I mean, that feels lovely, but there's a patience here. Now, you know, these boundaries, there could be whatever reason. It could be the pandemic. It could be the fact that, you know, there is lockdowns or isolations or restrictions. You know, this can be that energy. Um, it just is. Just be patient. There's a feeling of new love coming your way. But it definitely feels in this energy there are some boundaries, limitations. I mean, there may well be physical distance for some of you as well, you know. So whatever, whatever this is, this is just work within the situation that you're given right now. Okay, so what do we have, please, angel spirits, guides? What is the message people need to hear for Friday the 9th of April 2021? I'm using the Tarot Royale by Marchetti. Okay, what do we have, please? What do we have? Nine of Wands again. <laughs> yeah, I get it. There, there is a level of when is it going to happen? Knight of Swords, like the energy. Knight of Cups, lovely. The world, like it with the Nine of Wands actually. Um, Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. And Seven of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck I have, yeah, the Devil. <laughs> Interesting energy when we talk about boundaries here. Let's clarify this devil. I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah, it's fine. You know, there's a feeling of release here. Okay. So for some of you, I mean, you know, there can be an element of, of travel with this energy here. Um, so again, for some of you, I mean, there could be physical distance. Um, or reason why, you know, you can't connect to each other right now. It, it feels there's love coming your way, certainly with the Knight of Cups. 
um, it's almost kind of like there's one thing to go there is one period to overcome one obstacle to overcome you know whatever this nine of wands is you're closer than you realize to a major completion here and stepping into a new phase of your life this is breaking free of the boundary okay so there's definitely yeah you're gonna you're going to break through you're going to break free of whatever is restricting you confining you um it feels very much in this energy tying in with what these energies are saying and you know the the knight of of pentacles and the knight of swords i mean the knight of pentacles is somebody who works through a situation they use their practical skills knowledge ability to bring material gain in their life i mean this can be news to do with material gain um but it feels also just work through a situation you know it feels the the progress it feels definitely somebody there's progress here whether you know it or not you know, this is just keep on working through a situation. Um, there is progress here. You know, for some of you, I mean, you know, there's definitely an energy of success achievement as well, maybe financially as well, money-wise. Um, this can be news information here coming your way that brings change. But it might well be for some of you, you've just been working through a situation and then all of a sudden maybe there's some information, some news, some data uh, a piece of information call it what you will i mean that could be you know that could be governmental if it's like to do with the pandemic um from whatever direction this is it feels just work through a situation because this night is bringing change um, the progress the shift is going to happen And there's definitely an energy of, yeah, just don't, I mean, you know, sometimes this can be a card of self-sabotage. Um, it can be a card of when we deceive ourselves. You know, it can be that kind of energy, you know, of, of yeah, just self-deception. Um, it's to do with our thought patterns because the, the swords energy you know so just be careful of your thought patterns because this can be self-doubt self self-deception self self-sabotage call it what you will and i'm definitely getting that in this energy and it's coming because of this devil and this devil is the you can see it can't you you can see the barrier the restriction the limitation feels unhealthy but there is some kind of boundary limitation here that feels like he's blocking you from connecting to somebody but the message is just do what you do well don't self-sabotage you know don't let those thought patterns um affect you adversely in whatever way here this is just work within the boundaries like capricorn does so well you know work within the boundaries that you're given you know and there's definitely an energy of the way to work with that devil energy the feeling of powerlessness the feeling of restriction inhibiting energy is just to work through it um because for some of you there may well be some news some information um some conversation again coming your way that is allowing you to detach from that soon. It definitely feels in this energy that could happen on Friday. Um, for some of you, obviously people are at different life stages around the world, but you know, again, the Six of Swords is a card of transition, change, starting to see the change, start, starting to detach from the barrier, the restriction, something it feels, either something physical or, um, something it feels has been almost kind of like blocking this love coming into your life now you know it might well be for some of you you've been communicating technology wise um, and maybe there's something coming your way here that is finally allowing you to detach 
to break free of that devil energy. <clears throat> and this goes towards the new world energy. Um, it's interesting energy. There's a message of new love coming your way. The Six of Swords is you're heading in the right direction. There may well be some news or information that is coming your way, but you're not out of the woods yet. You know, there's things are progressing. The shift is happening. You know, this can be to do with moving, relocating, could be for jobs, could be for love, could be in terms of, um, you know, moving home, um, whatever this is. But there's still work to do. You're not quite at the end game yet, but you're heading in the right direction. So it feels like maybe there's some, some positive news, there's progress, but it's not quite at the end game yet. And it's to do with this Knight of Cups, which for me is definitely this offer of love. So I'm definitely getting this energy. Something is going to happen. News, information, a piece of information coming your way. Um, that is going to bring some kind of shift where the restriction, the release is slowly but surely being released. Whatever this boundary is, whatever this limitation is, it could be money wise it could be job wise it could be pandemic wise i mean you know call it what you will but it definitely feels for some of you you know there has been some barrier with accepting this what is essentially um somebody expressing their love you know uh and it's definitely an energy of something that you want to take action towards you know, you're ready for this new world energy. You're ready for this love to happen. But for some of you, there is just this energy of being held back in whatever way. But it's going to end. There's the beginnings of progress here. But leading to some kind of final completion, I'm seeing. Um, but there's a message of just work within the boundaries that you're working in. Uh, maybe some news or information is going to start the ball rolling here. I mean, it could be to do with visas as well, you know, visas or um, call it what you will. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I just got a lot of information all of a sudden in my head. So you understand what I'm talking about. It's going to happen. You're closer than you think to finally stepping through that barrier, that limitation. But it feels that things are being released slowly. It's a slow progress, making slow progress. Yeah. Yeah. We have Swan Graceful Transformation. And there's an energy of soften your heart and find your flow. Yeah. I love the energy of this one, you know, it, you know, it's, it says there's such hard work going on beneath the surface, isn't there? But it just glides gracefully in whatever direction it's going. So there's definitely an energy of just, yeah, it might be a bit frustrating, but you know, things are transforming. It feels very slowly, slow progress, but in the right direction, nevertheless. Okay. So last card, please, angels, spirits, guides for Friday, the 9th of April, 2021. For all signs, thank you for all signs. Yeah. We have fox shadow work, which is the devil energy. You know, there are no shadows without light. So there's definitely an energy of beginning to see the light in a situation. You know, this Aquarian energy of seeing the light. You know, Aquarius is one of the lights of the zodiac. So I love this energy here of, of yeah, I, I'm seeing good signs here. I'm getting good information here. It feels things are going in the right direction finally. Um, it definitely feels that you're going to have to work within some boundaries, but it feels that things are closer than you think to coming to a completion. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.